Hi guys, thanks for joining Gina's Grooming Channel. Today we're gonna show you how to clip black dog nails. I'm not only gonna clip, I'm also going to go ahead and file them, so grind them down. Um, and I wanna show you how I do that safely and make sure that we avoid, obviously, cutting the nails too short. So let's go ahead and take a look at these nails. I first assess the nails and see what I'm gonna be working with. Okay, they definitely need a trim. I can see that, that they're very, not super long, but pretty long, definitely need a trim. So I'm gonna go ahead and select which of my tools I'm gonna to be working with for that particular type of nail. Now, if they were longer, um, had a weird shape, or they were ingrown, I may select different types of tools for that job, but his look pretty straightforward. So we're gonna go ahead and select my basic scissors style nail clipper. This is a nice, powerful one that works great for small dogs and big dogs. Um, it's an Aussie dog. Just letting you guys know there are different other types of scissors style of nail trimmers, nail clippers. Um, this is really great for little tiny dogs, great for cats. Um, this is great if you have ingrown toenails or if you have a weird dew claw that's going in really deep. There also exists, and I haven't used this for a few years, a guillotine type of a nail clipper um, that I'm not gonna use, but I wanted to show you guys what it is, is that there's a blade that goes up and down when you squeeze it, you put the nail in the hole, you push, and that's how you clip the nail. So now that I've got my scissor style nail clipper that I'm gonna go ahead and use for this job, um, there's a few other very important things that I wanna talk about, which is eye safety. So you definitely, anytime you're clipping dog's nails in any way, you wanna make sure that you protect your eyes. I don't care if you've done it 3,000 times and nothing's gotten in your eye, um, something will get in your eye if you keep doing it because we can't determine exactly where that nail's gonna fly. We're also gonna be doing a little bit of nail grinding after we do the nail clipping. Uh, so that is very important for you to protect your eyes. So they're these kind of uh, eye protection glasses. These don't magnify at all. These are great. Wrap around your eyes. Definitely something to consider looking at. For me, I like to magnify what I'm looking at a little bit. So I bought some reading glasses. Um, if with slight magnification, this protects my eyes and lets me be able to see some focus detail a little better than without magnification. In addition, I'm also always prepared with my styptic powder. So styptic powder is a powder that helps stop bleeding. We never wanna make these guys bleed, but accidents do happen. Sometimes we'll talk about quicks in a moment, but sometimes you can go ahead and quick a dog, which is cutting the quick, um, and you have to go ahead and pack the nail with styptic powder. So always make sure you have styptic powder on hand before doing any nail trimming. So I wanna talk about something called the quick. Um, in professional dog grooming, the quick is not only a noun, it's also a verb. So in its noun form, the quick is the vein um, and the nerve that is in a dog's nail. It's also a verb where well, you'll hear a groomer say, oh, I quicked a dog. So it's used that way if you went ahead, cut too short, and you the dog's nail is bleeding and you have to pack it with styptic powder. Um, that is called quicking a dog, but it's also because you cut the quick. Just wanted you guys to be aware of that. And then what I have is my nail grinder, and I'm gonna talk about that in the second phase of our nail trimming. Um, this is just a rotary sanding tool that is gonna be able to file the nails down really nicely so that they're not scratchy. Especially if you have uh, young children at home, older folks at home, you wanna make sure that you don't leave after you clip the nails any scratchiness. And in order for me to work on a dog that is dry, and grind the nails when their hair is long. I also have a water bottle. I'm gonna go ahead and show you that I'm gonna spray his foot, move the hair, and then grind around it. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look a little deeper. Okay, for our first of all, we're gonna go ahead and talk about the angles, the proper angle of approach to clip a nail safely. The good angle is straight. So you see that little bit of curvature at the tip? We wanna approach that straight on to make sure that we don't go ahead and quick him, cut that vein. If we approach in an incorrect angle, so let's say facing toward the dog, that is going to give us a much higher likelihood of quicking him. It's also gonna leave this weird angle on the bottom of the nail. Conversely, if we go ahead and angle forward, that's also gonna leave this weird hanging nail in the front. Um, so even if we grind, it really is not good. And for the dew claws, basically we're gonna show you on the other paw, we just wanna go ahead and get that tip off, make sure that it does not grow around and ingrown. Okay, so let's see what we learned and apply it. So for this paw, we look at that angle, we go ahead and plan, make a straight cut with confidence. Now see that white underneath that I'm leaving? That means that that is dry nail, that is dead nail. We are going to grind that a little closer to the quick, but this is a nice way to kind of do a French tip. Make sure that you stay safe and not quick a dog with the clipper, okay? And then go nail by nail, isolating, 
and with confidence cutting on the proper angle. This nail's a little dirty, but that's okay. Same principle, and then we go to the dew claw. Some dogs don't have dew claws. Some dogs only have dew claws in the front. Some dogs have dew claws in the front and the back, so make sure you're aware of that. Okay, so we did phase one. He doesn't like his nails trimmed too much, but you know you just get through it. That's very important. What we're gonna do is phase two. If he had shaved paws or he was a short-coated breed, I wouldn't have to use this water, but because I'm gonna be grinding around his coat and he's got long coat, I'm gonna go ahead and spray that down just with water. I have a spray bottle for this so I can go ahead and push up all of that coat so I can go ahead and grind safely without getting any of that coat. So be careful when you're grinding your dogs at home, but I wanna show you with a grinding tool. You wanna make sure the dogs don't get near it. I start to get away from them. Good boy. And I grind up. Okay, each nail I hold and I grind up. You can even get the bottom there a little bit if they're catching on things. Good boy. Okay, now he's pulling away. I'm gonna give him a little break. Okay, I'm gonna go to the final nail on this paw. Good boy. Okay. Now I'm not gonna file the dew claw because that would get caught in the Dremel or in the rotating grinding tool. So I leave dew claws alone from the grinding. So let's see the other paw. Good boy, you're doing so good. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Okay, again, separate that hair, all that coat from the nails. Approach how you can hold him safely. And we turn on the Dremel. Turn on the grinding tool. And I like to grind up. Good boy. Good boy, we're almost there. One last one. You can isolate. Good boy. Oh, good boy. So I'm gonna do the same thing on his rear paws. Um, now, I wanna do a little note of caution. If it was a dog that I didn't know, I would start with the rears first because if a dog's gonna bite you for nails, you wanna know about it when you're a little farther away. So any strange dogs, I start with their back paws first but we did really good. So don't be afraid to do your black or dark colored nails. Uh, make sure you kind of know the anatomy of a nail. And uh, if you have any questions, put them on the comments below. We really appreciate you watching. If you like this video, click that thumbs up. Please remember to subscribe and we will see you next time.